Alrighty guys, so before this video starts, uh, I just want to say something. Um, in a second here, I'm going to say how I'm going to clean this out in this video, but actually, I'm just I'm just showing around before I clean it. Uh, just showing around everything and what this building's about, and uh, yeah. So, I'm doing this right at the end here. Um, I'm sorry for anyone that's been waiting, but uh, I'm probably going to post a video tomorrow or the day after um, of cleaning this whole place out. And after that, we'll be able to sit here and do videos. So, yep, this is just a video of me showing around before I clean this place out because I am a rambler and uh, it was a lot longer than I thought just showing around. But, yeah, just want to say that before it starts. And, uh, yeah, if you watch the video, thank you so much for watching. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Uh, once again, we're going to be doing something here, as you have seen in the title already. Um... <laughs> Hold on, what's this cat doing? She just climbed all the way up that ladder while I'm trying to talk to you guys. All the way to the top. <laughs> what an attention grabber. But once again, what I'm doing is uh, cleaning out the shed. It might be like two parts, I'm not sure, but this is it. it's got to be done. I mean, I've been putting it off for a while. Now, what's in here is traps. Um couple of stands to put lures and stuff on. A lot of traps mainly. Just some pelts that I need to uh, take off now since they're completely dry. And I'm going to put them in a bag and send them up so the mice don't get them. But I need to get a wood heater in here for this winter because last winter when we went trapping they took forever to dry out. As you see right now they are just now dried out. So I'm going to get them off their stretchers put them in their bag, keep them nice and uh, up in the air, keep them dried, keep them separated so I can send them up to the fur auctions. And uh, yeah, but we are, we're going to clean this shed out. Uh, I'll show you around for a second here, see what I might do, just show you around what's in here. But a couple of the pelts, um, I had them all nailed up too. A couple of them fell on the ground and uh, the mice got to them and there's these little bugs that just rip the pelts apart. And these are the ones I want to keep for myself. So, it's just annoying sometimes that the mice can do. We're going to have to set some mouse traps in here soon. But, yeah, let's get this place cleaned up. It's very messy now. And uh, the pelts, it's just the pelts. That's all it is. No animal. It's just ones that I've completely processed. And I'm going to take them off the stretcher. So, yeah, let's get to cleaning. I'm going to show you just around for a second. And then, yeah. Okay, everybody, so you're in my hand now, not on the tripod for once. I got a very shaky hand, so. Nosy cat, nosy cat, another one showed up all of a sudden, but, <laughs> sorry, I'm going to be getting a vlogging camera soon. I'm not going to be a vlogger, but I'm saying, like, it's easier to hold and everything, but there is a big DSLR in my hand right now, so. If the picture's off a little bit, that's why, but as you can see, get the nice lighting in here. Um, right there's the backdrop I made. Um, I still gotta go get some fresh wood and uh, board that bottom off and then probably board to the door this way. So it's gonna be completely nice. So if that's only gonna work for now, right there that backdrop, that's only gonna work for when I want to uh, for when I want to stand there and talk to you guys. But I'm gonna open the store and prop it up real quick because I need all the lighting I need for this camera in here. It's very sensitive with it. So, yeah, I'm going to show you Tor. So, let's start from the outside. Just for perspective, that's how far it is from the house. That house way up there. Turn around. Right there, you can see a building down there. That's the, the Amish school, the Christian school. Um, Right down, there's a, a property line there. We have those pine trees, and we have back in the woods there. So, not a lot of trees, but, you know, just a little bit of grass to sit in. So, once I, like I said, here's the trapping shed. Let me zoom out all the way. And it is. The one from home. Walk in. Got my new doormat from the, uh, the fair. And I got the new thermometer I put up and uh, <laughs> I gotta get some new Google ads for this guy but I've had this guy for years 
It's a door knocker. You pull down on this cord, and it's a woodpecker. So I gotta get him some new googly eyes. He needs them. He needs upgraded. But <laughs> yeah. So here is okay. Right here. Let's just go to here. These are just stakes that I've used for traps. Um, just some traps that are on them on the stakes. And uh, oh, if you're worrying, there's no like set traps in here or anything. Just <laughs> God, these. Cats really like to get in the camera. As you can see, there's a raccoon trap on this log. Um, it's a perfect log to tie traps on for a drag, for, you know, raccoons, stuff like that. Uh, we got the stick to put around their neck so we can let them out of the traps, animals we don't want. Uh, just, I hung the wire there over the years, but uh, we'll put them in a different spot. There's my bike helmet. Don't use it at all. Recommend you do, though. And we got a Big pile of mess down there. Don't even know what's there. We got a uh, <laughs> a deer target. I keep him in here. We have our NAFA bag there. North American Fur Auctions. That's where you send your pelts to uh, be sold. So, real quick, I've seen it in the comments already. And uh, I just wanted to address. Um, hold on. I think it's better if I take this bag off the window. So, da -da -da -da, the bag is removed, and uh, I just wanted to explain to you guys, I um, need some more light in here, but I want to explain, um, so trapping has been a tradition for many years, um, it's pretty much, you go out, you set the trap, a trap is basically a device that will hold an animal without hurting it, until it dis dispatched properly, but... Um, these ones, this here is called a body grip. This is a 110 conibear. Uh, this is used for muskrat, mink, uh, weasel in locations. Can't use it here for weasel unless the weasel went in the water. <laughs> but yeah, that's a 110 conibear. That one's broke. I've just shown it for, you know, just to show you guys. Uh, that That's what that used for. That's an instant, if not in a couple of seconds, death. Uh, the animal will swim through the center of the trap and hit that trigger which is usually in the center and it's just they're not meant for suffering or anything like that so I'll give full rundowns on everything but yeah just for example that's considered a trap um, you can see on the wall here that one there the jaws open and uh, it just holds an animal's foot in place doesn't hurt it doesn't cut off circulation just holds the animal till it's dispatched so that's a foothold device. And that's a coil spring. There's a different kind too. It's called a long spring. But yeah. I'll do other videos on that. I, I'll never show the animals or anything. Because like I said in the last video. Uh, it's just something a lot of people don't like. But a lot of people enjoy. So uh, the traps aren't showing there. But those are my broken traps. They're going to always stay there. Um, yeah but trapping. You basically. You catch the animal. If it's not already dispatched, um, it's already dispatched by a, a trap that already does it itself. You dispatch the animal in a trap, which is made in sets. You got to set on sign, set on location for the animal. But uh, around here in Pennsylvania, we get muskrats, mink. I've caught a weasel, uh, coyote, fox, gray fox, uh, possum, skunk. If I already missed raccoon, I'm not sure if I already said it or not. But, yeah. That's what you can catch here. And, uh, you get the pelt. You, uh, dress it all up. And you get all the fat off of it. And you put it on a board, a stretcher. So, as you can see back there, they're on the stretchers. They're dried now, so I will send them up to the auction. But, when I keep referring to auction, I mean, um, North American Fur Auction is, a uh, where you send your pelts up and you send your pelts up and uh, a lot of designer clothes are made with fur that's where you know the old saying look at that fur <laughs> you know you got mink and whatever a lot of people don't know even though it's a simple thing but you know <laughs> cats over there but yeah you get the pelts you dry them you send them up they get sold to uh, fur designers or you know people that make clothes and private uh, designers. 
So that's used this mainly where it goes. You know, some people send their pelts in to get gloves made, but then you get a check sent to you. You know, you're not making a lot of money off it anymore, but it's something that needs to be done no matter what. And, you know, it's not a good thing to not take the animals. Because, you know, they're getting overpopulated around here. So, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm just doing it to keep the population down. Okay, so, this video is already very long, and I don't want to make it any longer. Well, I, I am. Like, right now, I'm going to show everything. But, this video is just going to be showing around and uh, talking about everything. And then, the next video, I'll clean it up. So, right over here. This is kind of like a trap and shed tour. It's not clean yet, but I'm just showing around. Uh, right there is my fishing pole, pistol, and gun stand. So, I keep my main gun in my room, but, you know, that's where I keep a lot of that. I keep stereos down there for music on the bottom. i got to grab them. But, yeah, there's the backdrop. There's going to be a table here. This will all be cleaned out. There will be traps hanging on each side of this once the boards are up. Uh, the bottom would be covered in boards. There's the trash can. You know, decoy and my deer feeder are going to sit in that corner. Uh, right over there, that's also going to be full of traps, nothing else. Back there is the drying station where all the pelts hang and dry. So that will never be changed, it will just be cleaned up. Um, to the right here, you know, right there's that wall. And then you come and then there's a big loft up there. And that's where I keep all of the... Uh, underwater traps and the traps that go like a foot from the water uh, for mink, you know, muskrat mink, anything like that. I might uh, take those out and turn that to a, a place I can sleep, but I'm not sure yet. So that's what that is. But back there, once again, that's where all the drying happens for all the pelts. Okay, so you look to the right here. <laughs> Another cat jumping. That's the ladder to get to the loft. Up there, I just hang lights and stuff, but on the right here, we got more traps hanging. A lot of traps, guys. Over there is a shelf where I keep allures. And uh, right there is a huge desk. Um, that board there, that sits up and is nailed there. And what you do once you get the pelt off of the fur bear, uh, you flip the pelt inside out, you put it over the board that is usually sticking out the side but I took it down uh, you have that stand in there and uh, you put the pellet on and you get what's called a flushing knife uh, it's, it's basically just a knife with two handles a dull side and a sharp side and uh, you use that to get the fat and all the rest of the meat off of the pelt after it's processed so that, that's what that's used for and this is what this is, this is a skinning Fleshing and boarding table. So that's what I use that for. Underneath, I usually store stuff. There's the tabletop to the table I'm going to use in the podcast. Right there. Yeah, but I just wanted to do that. I don't know why I talk so much, but I just want to give a tour of what we're going to be cleaning out. Um, yeah, but I'll do a cleaning out part very soon here. If not, like two days. One day, whatever. But uh, yeah. <sighs> I gotta get on this place. <laughs> Look at how crazy it is in here. But, oh, one thing I didn't show. Got my bike wagon, and what I used it for was to put some of the traps in. That's probably like 10% of our traps in there. So, we got a lot of traps. That's full of them, just to keep them all separated. And, uh, yeah, I got a big process to go through to get this place cleaned out. Here's the porch. You go in and that's the huge mess I gotta do. So, yeah. See you in part two. Uh, might be tomorrow, might be the day after, but I just didn't want to make a huge long video on cleaning something out, you know. So, yeah. I'm sorry. I've already apologized at the beginning before the whole video started, but just wanted to show around until I clean this place out. So here's mainly a before video, and the next video is the after. <laughs> Tom! Hey Tom! <laughs> Cat eating all the bird food. Wanted to show you guys Tom. He hasn't seen him in a while. Have you Tom? 
No, he hasn't. 